What drives a person to commit an act so heinous that it shakes an entire city? Today, we delve into the chilling tale of Germain Monte Cannon, a name that's been seared into the annals of crime for a brutal act of violence that sent shockwaves through the city of Tulsa back in 1995. Picture this, a young woman full of hope and promise, Sharonda White Clark meets a fate no one could have anticipated. Her life brutally taken by someone she once trusted, someone who had already left a trail of fear and heartbreak with his violent tendencies, Jermaine Monte Cannon. Cannon was no stranger to law enforcement. His violent streak was well known, and eerily, he had escaped custody just before he committed this unthinkable crime. The aftermath of his actions left an indelible mark on many lives, and the city was cloaked in a pall of fear and sorrow. In 1996, Cannon was convicted and sentenced to death for the brutal murder of Sharonda Clark. The wheels of justice turned slowly. For Cannon, his journey through the justice system was far from over. It's in the aftermath of the conviction that the story takes another turn. A saga of appeals and ceaseless legal battles ensued, stretching over the better part of a decade. Doubts began to surface, not about Cannon's guilt, but about the fairness of his trial. Was his legal representation adequate? Did the court overlook crucial evidence? The questions were many, and the answers, few. In 2004, the court finally acknowledged concerns about the conduct of Cannon's trial and appellate counsel. A remand was granted, a glimmer of hope in the seemingly endless tunnel of despair. But hope is a fickle friend. Despite relentless challenges to the verdict, despite the petitions and appeals, the scales of justice remained unmoved. Yet, despite all efforts, the verdict remained unchallenged, and the petitions and appeals were unsuccessful. The long-awaited day arrived. On a cold morning in McAllister, Oklahoma, the state exacted its ultimate punishment. After years of appeals, petitions, and legal battles, Jermaine Monte Cannon's journey through the justice system reached its grim end. The gavel had fallen, the verdict delivered, the sentence carried out. It was a chilling conclusion to a saga that had gripped the nation. A journey marked by contentious debates and hard-fought battles in courtrooms. Questions about the fairness of his trial, the adequacy of his legal representation, echoed through the halls of justice. The complexities of this case forced us all to grapple with the very essence of justice, morality and redemption. Yet amidst the legal wrangling and the debates, we must not forget the human cost. The life tragically cut short. In the solemn echo of the execution chamber, we remember not only the crime that led Cannon to this moment, but also the life tragically taken, Sharonda White Clark.